The Rime of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, published in 1798 as part of the Lyrical Ballads, is a haunting and allegorical poem that explores themes of guilt, redemption, and the interconnectedness of all living things. The narrative unfolds as a mariner recounts his harrowing tale to a wedding guest, serving as a cautionary and transformative experience. The story begins with a festive atmosphere at a wedding celebration. The mariner, a grizzled and mysterious old sailor, stops one of the wedding guests to share his tale. The guest is initially reluctant to listen, but the mariner's compelling and intense gaze compels him to hear the story. The mariner recounts his journey aboard a ship that sets sail from a safe harbor. The voyage begins auspiciously, with favorable winds and a sense of excitement among the crew. However, the mood quickly changes when the ship enters the treacherous waters near Antarctica. An albatross, a symbol of good luck, appears and leads the ship safely through the icy passages, earning the mariner the admiration of the crew. Despite this initial good fortune, the mariner inexplicably shoots the albatross with his crossbow, a decision that marks a turning point in the narrative. The crew, initially approving of the mariner's act, soon condemns him for killing the bird that had brought them good luck. The atmosphere aboard the ship transforms into one of desolation and despair. As a consequence of the mariner's impulsive and thoughtless action, the ship becomes trapped in ice, leaving the crew stranded in a lifeless and frozen sea. The crew members, angered and desperate, force the mariner to wear the dead albatross around his neck as a visible mark of his guilt and folly. The symbolism of the albatross serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of thoughtless actions and the burden of guilt that follows. The narrative takes a supernatural turn as the ship encounters a ghostly vessel, manned by death and life and death. These spectral figures cast dice to determine the fate of the crew. The life and death figure wins the mariner's soul, marking him with a fate worse than death and eternity of agony and isolation. The rest of the crew, however, are condemned to die, their souls departing their lifeless bodies. The mariner is left alone on the ship, surrounded by the corpses of his former shipmates. He is tormented by both the physical and spiritual consequences of his actions. The poem masterfully captures the sense of isolation and despair that engulfs the mariner as he grapples with the enormity of his guilt. The mariner's punishment is further intensified by his heightened awareness of the natural world around him. His senses become acutely attuned to the beauty and suffering of the natural environment. The ocean, the creatures within it, and the moonlit sky all become vivid and haunting elements in the mariner's solitary existence. This heightened sensitivity to nature serves as a form of penance, a constant reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. The turning point in the mariner's journey occurs when he experiences a moment of profound reverence for the sea snakes swimming in the water. His heart opens to a sense of love and appreciation for these creatures, and he blesses them, recognizing the divine presence in all living beings. This transformative moment signals the beginning of the mariner's redemption. As the mariner's spiritual awakening unfolds, he is granted a reprieve from his cursed existence. The albatross falls from his neck into the sea, and a supernatural force propels the ship forward. The mariner is overwhelmed with gratitude and a newfound understanding of the sanctity of life. The mariner's redemption continues as he is drawn to pray expressing his reverence for the water snakes and recognizing the divine in all of creation. The supernatural forces that had condemned him begin to release their grip, and the mariner's heart is filled with a sense of peace and gratitude. The narrative concludes as the mariner returns to the wedding celebration where he initially stopped the wedding guest. The wedding guest is left in a state of awe and reverence, having been deeply affected by the mariner's tale. The mariner, having fulfilled his penance and shared his story, is released from his compulsion to recount the tale.
He departs, leaving the wedding guest with a heightened awareness of the interconnectedness of all living things and the consequences of thoughtless actions. The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is a timeless and evocative poem that transcends its 18th century origins. Coleridge's narrative explores profound themes of guilt, redemption, and the interconnectedness of humanity and the natural world. The Mariner's journey, marked by tragedy and transformation, serves as a cautionary tale that continues to resonate with readers, prompting reflection on the consequences of our actions and the potential for redemption through a deeper understanding of our relationship with the world around us.